It is 744 and 17 degrees. Time for News Extra this morning. Brought to you by Garing Civic Center. Here's Kevin. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. And uh, we're going to talk about a subject we've discussed uh, earlier this month, maybe once or twice even, and that's this early kindergarten registration, and the deadline is fast approaching to get that done. Karen Johnson is here. She's the uh, Scotts Bluff Preschool Court uh, Director. She's also a uh, uh, principal of Lake Minotaire School. And uh, Terry Martin is here as well, Director of Curriculum and Assessment for K-12 through over at Scotts Bluff. And uh, Oh, Gearing. Okay. So let's make sure we get that <laughs> taken care of at Gearing. And uh, so anyway, uh, let's discuss this uh, early registration again for uh, kindergartners. March 1st, the deadline is fast approaching on Thursday. <clears throat> um, how important is it for folks if they're looking to get their kindergartners in uh, at an early age, how important is it for them to take some action here by March 1st? Well, it, it really is very important. We coordinated um, Scott's Bluff's process with this, with um, gearing, and so we both have the same timelines and the same process for this early kindergarten admission. This would involve only kindergartners, uh, potential kindergartners, who are turning five August 1st through on or before October 15th. Those students last year would have been able to enter kindergarten, but the Department of Education changed the birth date deadline back to July 31st. So this year, those children who fall in those months with a birth date will not be able to enter kindergarten unless parents apply for early kindergarten admission. And that requires um, a whole process, the first thing of which is to get hold of an application so on both websites for the districts, and the central office of each district has them. And those must be filled out and turned into the administrative offices for Gearing and Scotts Bluff by 4.30 this Thursday, March 1st at 4.30. All right. Applications that come after 4.30 this Thursday will, will not be dealt with, and so that you will have to wait till next year to enroll your child in that case. And this is for kids that are turning five in August be 1st. Between those time frames. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up to on or up through on October 15th. Now, if somebody's turning five and the parents are already made the decision they're not going to enter kindergarten this year, but they're going to enter kindergarten next year, it's not a big deal. No, then you don't have to do anything, and next year you would just enroll your kindergartner in the spring. We had kindergarten registration um, last week at each of the school districts. Okay. Um, Let's get Terry in. Uh, uh, what kind of things, if, if you enroll your students in that, in that time frame uh, and uh, you, you want your child in there uh, uh, and they're going to turn five in those, between those dates we mentioned, August 1st and October 15th, and they go through this assessment process, what type of things do they go through? Okay, Kevin, the first, first thing that they'll do after they turn in the written letter and in a timely fashion is they'll go through a set of screening questions in each district. Then they will partake in what's called the YCAT. That's an assessment that will check their academic level to make sure that they are academically ready to enter kindergarten. The third piece would be the BASC, which is an assessment to deal with their social um, levels so that we know that they're socially ready to enter, enter kindergarten. <clears throat> At that time, if they've passed all three, then parents will receive notification that they can enter kindergarten. They are ready. If they are on the borderline or on any of them, then we will request that they come in for an observation with our school personnel and try to do, determine at that time if it's, they're ready or not. Okay. <clears throat> How important, uh, the, the reason why we did all this is there were too many uh, four-year-olds and six-year-olds kind of mixed in together and you have to make sure that the four-year-olds that are, are turning five late are able to handle the fact that uh, they're in there with some kids that are six years old, right? Correct. That's right. We have to make sure that they're both academically and socially ready um, to handle the kindergarten with the rest of the kids. Yeah. And this is, uh, all this is due to new legislation that was passed last year. Well, it was actually passed um, several years ago, but it goes into effect this year. Okay. All right. 
All right, let's take a break and we'll be right back. Gearing's vibrant history and the premier facility of the Gearing City Center makes this the place for your returns and small dinners with professional staff to assist in event planning and the Meat Shop's 29 years of catering experience, your events will be spectacular. We should, we should make sure they all have registered. Yeah, get in there and register. Well, they don't have to register by March 1st, but they still need to register as soon as possible. That would be an absolute and you get the prize. You could register the day before school starts if you moved into the district. All right, we are back on News <laughs> Extra, and uh, we're talking about that early kindergarten registration. I think uh, most people have got the drift here that you got to get in there by uh, Thursday, this Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Uh, if you're going to register a child for kindergarten that is turning five between August 1st and October 15th in order to take the assessments and make sure that child is ready, for kindergarten if you're going to enter them early <clears throat> but just registering for kindergarten even if you have a student that does not fall between those dates and is going to turn five before August 1st if you haven't registered them yet it's good that you get that done just as soon as possible right yes and I think registering kindergartners uh, as early as possible is important because it really allows the district to look at the incoming class of children um, sometimes there are more children in a particular attendance area and you need to add on, say, a kindergarten teacher and make a room ready for them. And it, the earlier that we know things like that, and I, I speak for Terry, I believe, mm -hmm. as well, because all districts yes. run into this. If people register at the last minute, it may be that the school is then hurrying up to get ready for another class of children, which they didn't prepare for. So. Anything that can be done early with the school district is always preferable. All right. Now, you're the preschool director over mm -hmm. at Scotts Bluff. How uh, do people have to register their kids for preschool, too, if they're yes. going to do that? Yes. Uh, we have um, a four-year-old preschool, and those birth dates follow the same birth dates as the kindergarten. In other words, the children have to turn four by July 31st, and uh, if, if they don't, then we're in the same situation as the kindergarten. Um, the preschool registration has not occurred yet. We okay. were kind of waiting to get through the March 1st deadline because some of those people may want another year of preschool this year if they choose not to attend the kindergarten. So the preschool registration, at least for Scott's Bluff, will probably be in early April. Okay. Terry, what's the situation for Gearing on preschool? Because you're going to have preschool at... Uh over at uh, Lincoln, Al Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln Elementary, okay, right? A whole, a whole totally right. new, uh, mm -hmm. new place to have that. That's right. It's at the new Lincoln Elementary, and and um, I have to be very honest. Candy Hubbard is director yep. of our preschool, right. or George Slothauer, and they would be the ones to contact on the dates for that. Okay. I'm not sure. All right. So uh, if you're interested in that, you've got time, but if you're interested in that, you might. Uh, Give them a call over at Lincoln Elementary mm -hmm. Store, or you can call Candy over at the uh, central, uh, office. central office at Gearing, and, and uh, they'll let you know what the situation is with preschool. That's going to be nice, a brand new place yeah. for preschool mm -hmm. for Gearing. Brand new, and in, in the buildings. In so the buildings great. is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been in a separate location, and now it's, it will be in the new Lincoln Elementary. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it'll be very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you coming in, and uh, hopefully uh, folks that... I hadn't done this last week when we had uh, Candy and Wendy in here. We'll get it done this week, that's for sure. Thank you, Kevin. All thank right, you, thank Kevin. you. <clears throat>